The Red Stables Have you ever been to the playground on St Anne's Park? If you have, you probably pass by some beautiful red buildings near the entrance of St Anne's Park off Mount Prospect Avenue in Clontarf. These are the Red Stables. They got their name from the red brick they were made from. The stables were built in 1885 by Arthur Edward Guinness. He was the great-grandson of the first Arthur Guinness who had started the Guinness Brewery and had been given the title Lord Ardalon. Lord Ardalon had inherited the large part of land between Rahini and Clontarf, which is now called St Anne's Park, in 1868. Over the following decades, he bought more land in the area and added a number of buildings, including the new stables. The red stables were designed by George Ashland, who also built All Saints Church at the northern edge of the park. The stables were built around three sides of a courtyard, had two storeys, and contained stables for Lord Ardalon's horses, sheds for his coaches, as well as haylofts and living quarters for the grooms. In 1939, Dublin Corporation bought the land, and the Parks Department used the stables to store equipment until 2006, when the building was beautifully restored by Dublin City Council. It now houses an arts and crafts centre with room for artists, a gallery and a cafe. Every Saturday there is a food and crafts market in the courtyard.